Hey guys, Charlotte here from Damson and welcome back to another Tech Tip Thursday. This week I'm going to be teaching you how to use different time zones in your calendar, most importantly Coordinated Universal Time or UTC, to manage your calendar for remote and hybrid working appointments and meetings. This totally gets rid of the entire problem of people thinking it was in one time zone and being in the, uh, being in the meeting at the wrong time and everybody getting mixed up. So if you want to know more about it, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see here, we're just in my Google Calendar and I just have all of my uh, personal events turned off because I don't want you guys to see all of uh, my own calendar events. And what I wanted to show you is that here on the left hand side, you can see that I have two separate time zones. I have one Spain and one Dublin. That is because I work normally from Spain and the rest of my company mostly work from Ireland. So. I can check here, if I want to book in a meeting, I can just see really quickly without having to do the maths in my head, though it's not very difficult because we're only one hour in the difference. Um, but I can see very quickly, if I want to book in a meeting for 9 a.m. with them, I know it's 10 a.m. for me and that kind of thing. And that's very handy. But what gets a little bit more diff difficult is when people are a little bit further away uh, from Dublin than Spain is. So if we're in a different time zone, i.e. I was in Mexico a couple of weeks ago working from there, but the way that we manage this is by using universal coordinated time or coordinated universal time, UTC. And that's very important because that is standard across the board and it doesn't change. Like as in Ireland is normally GMT, but because of daylight savings, sometimes it's GMT plus one. And at the moment it's GMT plus one. So in order to avoid these like weird changes that because Europe has daylight savings and that kind of thing, we're using coordinated universal time. And the way that you do that is if we go into our settings menu here and we get settings and we're in general, we go down to time zone. So in time zone, you can see that you can display secondary time zone uh, and that's what I'm doing here. So what I would do if I was trying to use coordinated universal time is I would probably leave the time that I, zone that I was supposed to be on and then I would go back to my Irish time zone and I would change it. So coordinated universal time is GMT 00. So you'll find it there under Azores time. It's kind of confusing uh, it, how to find the time zones and you just have to go by how many hours plus or minus GMT it is. So GMT is in the middle and then plus and minus is on either end. So coordinated universal time is GMT plus 000. We'd select that. I will just label this coordinated universal time. That's actually called UTC. So now if I go back to my calendar, it's going to show UTC on the side there. And make sure you don't click the little box that comes up that says bring it back to your normal time zone because otherwise that will bring it to your current time zone and that won't help at all. So companies like Twitter and Facebook are using UTC because it's a seriously good way to coordinate time zones. It doesn't change. It's standard across uh, all of the world and basically it's very very handy for people in Ireland and the UK because it's basically on our time like for America they obviously have to put a lot more effort into using UTC but for us it is very very easy and in case you think this is just a new thing it's not UTC is a modern 24 hour clock based standard and it's already in use in the military and aviation and meteorology community so it's not just something that came up during remote work it's just something that is incredibly handy to use and I think it's really the only way to be scheduling remote meetings because it can get so, so confusing if you say, it's, oh, can you book this in 3 p.m. CST time or can you book this in Irish time for an American client and they just don't know what's going on. So coordinated universal time is just the easiest way to have everything completely standardized. Okay, guys, well, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this Tech Tip Thursday. Please do subscribe if you're not already subscribed and leave us a comment if you're using this feature or if you're using this time zone, I wanna know what you think of it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.